guys oh my god i'm so freaking excited to see you it is friday afternoon you guys are seeing this on saturday but my company let us leave early today for the holiday weekend i cannot even believe it it is three o'clock right now what even i just got home i took off my face makeup because it was looking really gross because it is literally over 90 degrees outside I am sweating my ass off right now, but I am so happy and so excited, not only because it's a three-day weekend and we got out early, but because this beauty came in the mail today. Graveyard Girls palette, Bunny's palette. Oh my god. So, you guys know I typically don't really fall into the hype of new stuff, new collections, things like that. But this is so exciting, so special, so amazing, and okay, so it's like a wood, like it looks like wood, and it's kind of textured, it's like that all the way around. The packaging had a really cute picture of Bunny with a little like blurb from her about the palette, but this is just the outer, like the real packaging of the palette. And so it's by Tarte, and it was on pre-sale earlier this week and I just so happened to see her Instagram post about it and then I decided I was going to buy it and it's already here so that is amazing amazing shipping like I thought it was pre-order as in I wouldn't get it for a while but it was like order it so now it's out of stock I'm not sure when it's going to come back in stock but I cannot wait to use this for the first time. Okay, so it's called the Swamp Queen Palette, and I love that it's gold, and it's a full face palette. So um, around the whole sides is this really pretty gold, and it is magnetic, which I love. So then it has a huge mirror. Like, this is such a nice mirror, and I love what it says on it. I don't think I'll be able to show you guys in the camera, but it says on the top of the mirror, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality. I love Bunny so much. I love what she stands for and what she encourages her viewers to always be themselves and I just love her and I really really wanted to support her by getting this palette and it's just a beautiful palette even if you don't watch Graveyard Girl or know who she is. Okay so it's gold all on the inside and he, okay it also comes with a little brush and it's only one-sided which I highly appreciate. Anytime a palette comes with a two-sided brush, I don't know what the hell to do with it because you can't put it down in your makeup thing, so I'm really happy to have just a one-sided brush. And then these are all of the colors. So on this side, you have three face products and then you have nine eyeshadows. I am so, so excited about this. I did swatches in my vlog that is gonna go up on Monday and I am just really impressed with the quality. I love the other Tarte palette that I have and that is why I really wanted to get this palette. So I'm going to do a look with this. Obviously it's a get ready with me but I'm just gonna do, I don't know what I'm gonna do but it's not gonna be too like crazy. I'll definitely do more uh, get ready with me as using this palette but I just wanna play around with it and see how it looks but like I said it's so so hot outside and I think me and my sister are gonna go get ice cream after I'm done with this and then I'm just hanging out with my friend like chilling watching Netflix tonight so and probably drinking tons and tons of wine or something so I'm not gonna do anything crazy so I don't want a really crazy look but whatever let's just get into it okay can you tell I'm freaking hyped up right now? Okay, so this color here called Big Baby, it's like a, basically my skin tone matte shade. So I'm just going to put this all over my eye, and this brush is pretty stiff. Like, it's not very fluffy. But yeah, this is pretty much like a skin tone base shade that you can just put all over to start, if you do eye makeup like me, where you always put down like a color like this. And I already had makeup on earlier, but it was pretty much like nothing. I didn't have time this morning really <laughs> to do makeup because I'm always rushing late. But um, yeah, I'm just doing it on top of it because I don't have the patience to take off all my makeup right now. Okay, so it is kind of powdery. Can you see that? Like actually very powdery but I'm using this really stiff brush so that's 
probably not helping. Okay, so on the lid, okay, the, oh, seriously, all the colors are so pretty, but this color really speaks to me. SFS, I think that's Swamp Family Strong. I try to look it up, but I feel like everyone knows what it means, so there's like no explanation on what it means. Um, Sassy Bun is gorgeous, and Uncommon. These are the three more like lid shades, like traditional shimmery lid shades that I, oh yeah, baby. So SFS, Sassy Bun, and the purple one is Uncommon. I think I'm gonna do SFS. Yeah, Swamp Family Strong. That's what I'm gonna say it means. I think that is what it means, but I'm just unsure. Okay, yeah, so I'll do that on the lid. Oh my God. I bet these will look really pretty wet too because they're not that, like they're not highly, highly metallic. I think I need a different brush. I still haven't unpacked from last weekend's trip. So like half of my brushes are in there. Okay, that's better. If you use like a more like concealer brush, it packs it on more. It's not like really shimmery though. I thought it would be more shimmery. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go into Uncommon, the purple. Cause that's what I really wanted to do, but then this shirt was throwing me off. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this is like satin taupe, MAC satin taupe. Okay, I think having eye makeup on already is messing this up, so just a moment. Okay, you guys, so I sorted all that out. I took off my previous makeup. So I'm going to put Big Baby on again, but with a fluffy brush, because I think that also wasn't helping. Um, but yeah, this palette, it's weird. It I swear it smells like chocolate. And I know that the chocolate palettes are by Too Faced, but I swear to God, this palette smells like chocolate. Like, how weird is that? And it's by Tarte. That shadow is super, super powdery. That big baby. That big baby shade. Um, okay, so I'm going to... Actually, let's go with Natural Peaches, which is like a um, warm brown. And put that in my crease. Yeah, it's like a soft brown from MAC. And I think this is a color that a lot of palettes need but they don't include so I'm really happy that she included this color and I seriously love this palette because it's warm and cool shades so it's not like some palettes how it's just all really warm reddish orangey colors or all just cool tone purples this has both, and I think that's really amazing. And then the cheek products, we'll test those out and see how they'll go, those go. Okay, so I am going to put on... I feel like my brush game is not very strong right now because all of them are in this bag because I've been too lazy. Okay, I am going to do Uncommon, the one that looks like Satin Taupe, and I'm going to put that on my lid. I swear, is it these brushes? Like, why isn't it? It's like not transferring. Is it this eyeshadow? This is really weird. It's like not, it's just like blending to nothing. This is really bizarre. Okay, let me get a clean MAC 217 and see. Like literally. This is really weird. Sweat is like dripping down my body. It is so hot. 
this is the weirdest thing I've ever experienced, you guys. It's like not showing up. Okay. Like, look at this. What? Where is it? Like, this is really weirding me out right now. And it's like really, really powdery. Cause it looks really nice when you swatch it, maybe. Let's apply it with the finger. That's better. There. Showed up with that. That's really odd though. If anyone else has that problem, please let me know because I feel like I'm just being an idiot or something. Okay, so let me apply it with my finger on the other side. Yeah, I don't get why that was happening. This looks a lot better. It's like it was not picking up enough product on the brush. I don't know. But there, that looks, that looks better. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm being really crazy right now. But, okay. Now I am actually going to take this highlighting shade called Gator Wings and I'm going to put that in my inner corner and sometimes I think inner corner highlights don't look good but we are going to try this one out and this one is very blingy it actually has like some glitter pieces in it That looks good. Um, I am going to take a little bit more, I think my sister's home, more, hey Rach, more of natural peaches. See, it just blends away that highlight, I mean that lid color. This is really, really weird. I'm like confused. Okay, I just wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going back into that uncommon shade to put that on the lid. Okay, that is way better. That's unfortunate though, if it's not me, and it is the shade. Hmm. I'm not sure, that's really weird. The really like, satin metallic colors from Tarte are usually like freaking amazing so I don't know maybe it is me I hope it's not the palette I hope it's me but wow having it wet looks really amazing and then I'm just going to take see look how powdery it is hmm I'm gonna take some of Haunting, which is a muted purple, and put that in my crease. Yeah, it's really super powdery. That's surprising to me. I don't know. Okay, so I have that. Yeah, that shade looks amazing applied wet. So definitely apply that one wet, which, mm, I don't know. That, if that's how it has to be applied, I'm bummed out about that. And then I'm just going to apply one pump of my foundation just to even out my skin tone. Still using the Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation. And I still really like it, but you have to only use one pump. Like, if I use two, it makes me, it looks like I'm wearing too much makeup, so. Just one pump and you are all set. And I'm just gonna put some of my brow pencil, the Perfect Brow Pencil by Anastasia. Ew, I usually say Anastasia. 
guys are brainwashing me. I actually think Anastasia is how you actually say her name, but for some reason I like to say Anastasia. Um, but my brows are just looking really ashy. Okay. And now I actually need some under eye concealer. If I can find it. Okay. Whew. You guys, I'm breaking a sweat. Breaking a sweat. This is going to be like the weirdest video ever. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to set it with my girl on meteorites because I always forget to use them and I just remembered. So let's use them. And you just kind of like swipe them. that'll make it last for the next few hours okay so I'm going to take the highlighter gator wings which I used in my inner corner yeah there's some glitter glitter in that glitter for real oh yeah yeah definitely more of a glittery glittery highlight yeah there's legit glitter in it so I don't know how much I'll actually use this on my face as a face highlight actually the glitters more or less blend away so that's good okay the blush is a really pretty pink my bunny palette came So it's called, does this thing really work? Oh, it's pigmented. Okay. Does this thing really work? Yeah, the blush. So let's see if this thing really works. Very pigmented. Oh my God. If you are fair, you need to be so careful with this blush. And I don't really love pink blush on myself. So I need to blend this a lot. But that looks really pretty with the highlighter. And the blush is more of a satin. Like it's not really matte, but it's not really like sparkly. And then there's this, which is Sweet Tea, um, which is basically like another blush. So I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use that today. No, let's not go overboard, Megan. Okay, so... I need some eyeliner. Ooh, I could use, I should have done this earlier. I'm going to use Man Cat, which is this really dark purple, um, to do some uh, smudgy liner on the top lash line. That's just what I really like to do. Yeah, I should have done this before I did all my face makeup, but this is a really pretty color. It's a like a plum oh it's really pretty yeah that's nice I bet that would be this would be a really pretty palette for the fall I mean I know it's summer I know it's summer because I am freaking dying but these colors are just really just really pretty fall colors and I do think that this palette is pretty powdery not gonna lie it's a little bit harder to work with than I imagined or hoped that it would be obviously you never hope that it'll be powdery but yeah it's a little powdery like way more powdery than I would have expected from Tarte because of their other um eyeshadows that I've used aren't like that at all so that's kind of a bummer for real. Then I'm just using uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher 
just on my top lashes because I can't be bothered with my bottom lashes. Okay, I will do my bottom lashes because it just doesn't look right. Yeah, that looks better. I'm just bummed about how that lid color was blending away. I think I'm gonna do the next look I do with this is gonna be with Sassy Bun, which is that like gold in the middle. And we'll see if that's the same way because it seemed like SFS, the like rose gold champagne one was like that. And it's the same type of like satiny finish as Sassy Bun and Uncommon, which is the one I used on my lid. And if they only really work wet, like I don't mind because it looks really pretty, but Oh, I need to do my lower lashes. Um, but that's pretty annoying that it wouldn't show up right without wetting it. So the jury is still out. I'm not like, I haven't made my opinion about this palette or not. Palette yet. But that's just my initial impression. But I do think it came out really pretty more of a muted look but i love the natural peaches soft brown color oh yeah that just really pulls the look together and usually i do have to bring in soft brown from mac in any eyeshadow look i do and that's typically why i don't like palettes because they don't have the right colors that you need to blend and to do liner and do your lid so this has like all of the colors that I really want, but it just seems like they're really powdery. And honestly, I'm very surprised that it's Tarte eyeshadows. They don't seem the same as like my Tarte, whoa, Energy Noir palette. Like these, there's like no powder fallout anywhere. And I've used this so many times, like the dark shades, the like these beautiful satin shades, they go on like that. So that's why I'm very, very surprised about that lid color. It's just very weird to me. But I'm so excited about this. This was $45, I believe, and Tarte's website has free shipping. So I love Bunny, like I said. I'm super, super excited about playing around with this palette some more. My first impressions are that it's pretty good. I love the colors. The mixture of the colors are amazing. And these cheek products really do look beautiful on my skin. But the eyeshadows just seem very powdery and not the same quality as I have grown to expect from Tarte palettes. So that's the reason that I'm a little bit like, uh, about it. It's just not the same as what I'm used to with Tarte, I guess. But love it i think this is an awesome awesome palette if you guys got your hands on it in the like pre-sale thing too let me know what you're thinking about it but i cannot wait to do more looks with this do warm looks cool looks all sorts of looks i think it'll just be a really really versatile palette and i know i'll get a lot of use out of it even if it's not as good of quality as i did expect from tarte so I have, I'm really excited about it, but there's like a part of me that's like, mm, it's not like super, super great. But if you love Bunny, I think you'll really enjoy having this palette. And I just think that it's really, really cute, the packaging and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about being so frazzled. Actually, who cares? I'm just excited that it's the weekend. I am excited about this palette. I'm excited about going to get ice cream. I'm just happy that it is the weekend and I hope you all have an awesome start to your weekend. Please let me know what you guys are up to this weekend and if you got this palette or if you want this palette or whatever, just let me know and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!